five. We are going to be seeing BZK on the Chinese side. We'll be seeing NSD on the uh, U.S. side. And as you said before, you said the Chinese has a little bit of an advantage just in terms of the chopper. Uh, the U.S. side has a little bit of an advantage just because they are slightly closer to Bravo. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, actually, I want to go on board with the U.S. chopper because this is Moo. All right, I'm with Chinese here. This is Moo. Oh, is That's it? That's going to be oh, uh, flying. Oh, it's Moo? And, and even though he doesn't have guns... I want to see how the flying master flies. Let's let's see what's going to be coming out of here. Has uh, two seconds left on the clock, and he has a full load of uh, players here that he's going to be spitting out, probably on top of Bravo flag uh, before too long. Actually, not going for that height advantage right from the get go. We're seeing the Chinese team doing just that, and uh, there you go. We're going to be seeing them uh, fighting back and forth. It seems like. Uh, the U.S. team is uh, going to be closing that distance, and there you have it. Chinese team will be winning out initially on that fight for Bravo, uh, and now Rune. And who's winning on this LAV cool. fight here at Alpha? Are you, are you, have you seen this? This is yeah. a pretty decent fight right. here. Yeah, right now it looks like, oh, Zuni Rocket's actually going to be coming in, and there you have it. Sticky will be able to come out on top in that exchange. That means that Alpha flag will be going over in to possession, as well as getting onto that Charlie flag. And i got to say, BZK coming out swinging. They're threatening a triple cap right from the start. Yeah, and, and I, I have to be honest, it looks like they're much more comfortable with the breakout on this map. Uh, just based on the what I'm seeing from their positioning and things like that, I like that they went for the double gimme off the bat, and the fact that they have their LAV up still is in their advantage, and they're already pushing to Bravo. So in terms of the breakout, I, I'd have to hand it to BZK at this point, uh, just looking very solid on this map. Yeah, it is. Uh, we have one player that's going to be uh, sitting down onto that A burn. We do have uh, like the like, nice shot there. Antagonist going to be able to take down one. We did see a lot of mines being placed down uh, right there to prevent any kind of LAV uh, push going to be coming in. And uh, Melly is going to be up uh, trying to get over here onto this Charlie flag, but he gets taken down. Uh, actually, no, he suicides as he's going to be respawning somewhere else. And this is a really weird position to be in. Uh, you have that Bravo point. You kind of get smashed from both sides. Honestly, at this particular moment, I think that they should just have a very heavy push go straight in onto this alpha flag. Yeah, and uh, I'm wondering if they know uh, all the burn points. This, um, I can't say exactly where this point is, but you can burn it from a very advantageous position. I'm not going to call it out because I would get yelled at by my team. But there are places to burn alpha in which they would not be seen by, uh, by the LAV that's positioned on alpha right now. So... Um, and it looks like he actually, uh, Sudi Field's actually just going to town here. So if you want to hop on Sudi Field, he's just outside of, uh, Alpha. Well, I've been watching the, him in... the entire time, but yeah, he is going to be yeah, able to get a disable good. on the LAV. Right there he goes. We're going to get another hit, and that LAV is going to be very, very low here, potentially going down. Uh, oh, actually, a uh, missed shot right there. And I think the Zuni Rockets coming in from the second LAV will be able to finish it off, and it does. Uh, the only problem I would say right now is that the other LAV is a little bit low on health. Has to be careful of those mines. There are three mines sitting there into the water uh, just waiting for them. But as that was happening, we did see Bravo Flag getting slightly grayed out. Uh, so they have to be careful uh, not to give up that B point. Uh, right now, BZK ahead by about 60 tickets. They are 172 to 237. Looking pretty darn good right now. Zapphire will be back up. We are going to be seeing uh, one of the anti-explosive uh, anti uh, Dilly Whoppers, I forgot what they call them, but they are going to be up right here as uh, we're seeing the LAV backed up on top of A. Now, I don't like this position here from the LAV. He's not only not able to move around, but he's going to be an easy target for anybody that's sitting on top of Bravo. And he just got taken yeah. out, so that is definitely <laughs> not going to be good. But they did win out the burn on Alpha. Yeah, and I'm going to hand that one uh, directly. Uh, the, the win on, on Alpha is directly correlated to the amazing play of Sudified right now. I mean, he is like a, just a one-man wrecking ball. He's like, oh, you're over here? You're dead. Oh, you're over here? You're dead. I mean, just the sheer volume of kills that he has already uh, amounted. He's 8-1, and one, and he's playing infantry, guys. For anyone that doesn't realize how impressive that is, just listen to my voice. It's freaking impressive. Right now we do have Zapphire pushing up onto that Alpha flag. He will be able to get an assist there on one. And I think they actually cleared out all of the infantry. No, the only one left is going to be Saudi. As uh, he does uh, get a little bit of health going back here. As he is that NG class. And he's trying to stay alive here. We'll be able to spot he's out one. He's got 14 bullets. Yeah, not able really oh, to do no. much damage at all. Turns around trying to get that pistol kill. And it's not going to be enough. Gets hit with that RGO. And Alpha flag now will be returning into the possession here of BZK. And this right here is a very interesting 
uh, situation, something that we did not call. You know, we called it basically if you have out or if you have Bravo, you're going to be able to get Alpha, and that's the hole that we're going to be seeing. But right now, that's not the case. And you know, I, I think that right now we need to be seeing a push coming onto Charlie. Yeah, well, I, I like that they haven't given up on it yet. Here comes a strong push, supported by the LAV. Now, if he can get into a pillory position, which I think he will, yeah, he's going to handedly take it here. He's getting himself into a nice little what we like to call head glitch, where it's very hard to shoot him, but it's easy for him to shoot out. And uh, he's just going to be peeking, and I, I like his positioning. I think that they're going to win the burn back here, and then they I should be able to take down that do other LAV. I do not LAB. like his positioning, because now Zapphire as well as antagonists are going to be able to lay down mines and they could even get a couple of repair tools and there you go the lav is dead that's the exact same way that he died in the first place i don't really like that I position he, at all i think he wanted to get uh, a little further up in there if you look there's a that building right there he can actually pillar on those blue containers i think he just i think he just got stuck or, or a little bit of uh, tunnel vision trying to take out that lav so that is unfortunate there is a good position that you can get into in there um, he just hasn't been able to actually get it yet. He keeps getting stuck. Well, right now we are this is a great head glitch though by Sticky. Trying to get a couple of straw missiles. Not able to connect with any of those shots. Uh, we are going to be seeing uh, Mu not in the helicopter. He's going to be taking the empty uh, roll right now. As uh, going to be able to burn that alpha flag back. Uh, right now we are seeing I think antagonist down below on the ground. Yes he is. We'll be able to pick up pro kill. Nice shots. And that's going to allow Alpha Flag to get great out. But look over here onto Charlie Flag. It is now being contested. It's a possible triple. Yeah, we are seeing uh, Azen or Axen or something um, going to be coming down in uh, onto the gas station area here. Still winning out on that burn. They are getting it back to the favor. So BZK clearing out C. But uh, that did pull back three people. That's going to allow them to get that Alpha Flag uh, back into their favor. We are seeing Prokill trying to chase out this last infantry player, getting a couple of shots there from the LAV as it's kind of just poking in back and forth. He is going to be solo with the AV, uh, LAV. And now Zip Zip, uh, he's, he's going to die die, as not really going to be able to do much there in that situation. Uh, and there, there you go. I mean, that Alpha Bravo hold now coming into effect. And I think that right now with this particular positioning, we're going to be seeing them not only uh, get the lead back, but taking a commanding lead themselves. Yeah, and it's all because of the spawns. The, the spawns at Bravo are very advantageous uh, in comparison to the other spawns. So they can, and I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, Wemus has basically put his thugs down at Bravo, and he has not left that area the entire time. So I like that they've just allocated one person, because it's a very open area, and he doesn't necessarily need to get the kills. He just needs to make the callouts. And then uh, the team can actually push together. So I like I like the patience of NSD. They didn't get worried that they went down. Uh, they set up, they went for their game plan, and now that they've actually... And if you look, Factor's actually got himself into the area that I was speaking about earlier, where I'd like to see him a little further back, but I, I will say that MPAPS will help him a tiny bit. So he's got a nice little spot. I just... Uh, I'd like to see him a little further back. Yeah, right now Factor is... Uh, he's going to be switching... Uh, right now setups he does he is using that tow missile which I do like that uh, communication going back and forth with his teammates but right now sticky just able to put so much DPS down there yeah so much great push. we'll be able to come yeah, out well on top in that exchange and uh, now they are going to be taking back that alpha flag look at the push though we're having uh, a four-man push coming in onto a flag and there's not really a whole lot that they've been able to to do here pro killer uh, will be back up He's going to be able to Syrah uh, the LAV, but, I mean, not a whole lot of damage is, is actually going to be on to that LAV. He's going to be ba able to back out. His infantry is going to be able to, to uh, secure that cap, no problem. Now, over here on Charlie's a little bit of a different story. We have uh, Micah uh, sitting down trying to find these last couple of infantry. You can't really... Uh, I think they're actually on top, maybe? Yes, they are. Oh, my God. Look at this positioning here. Look at this. <laughs> look at this, you cheeky little South African. Ninjas. Oh my god, oh, but look at here, coming in with the helicopter, is sitting on top of him, Factor gonna be stealing it, I thought for a second he'd get a roadkill off of that, but my so gosh, they did find him, and they are gonna be able to kill the majority of those infantry players, as they're still uh, contesting this C flag, and uh, yeah, going back and forth, I mean, when you're in this position right here, they just have to sit up here, they don't really have to do anything at all. Uh, they're, they're doing, you know, all the work that they need to, but there's the suicides coming in for both of those players. Looks like that they're ready to go for a push, maybe onto this alpha flag. Yeah, it's looking like a strong alpha push, and if you notice, Brett, we just had the first uh, lead change. Now, it has gone back into the favor of BZK, but, uh, I mean, we're... It's a 10-second game, guys. This is... 
this is nowhere near over. Oh yeah, this is definitely a very, very close one, and still back and forth with these LAVs, and it's looking like we are going to be seeing NSD coming oh, out on huge. top because of those uh, smalls coming from behind there. We did see a couple of infantry players uh, jumping back down, and there you go. We are going to be seeing Antagonist here trying to find that last player. He does spot him out and will be able to get the pickups. Nice play. He just has to survive against this LAV, who's going to be able to cause a massive amount of damage. Let's take a look at the free cam right now, as uh, we do have some infantry. Nice pickup there. Factor will be able to take down uh, Fury, and now they they are burning down this alpha flag slowly but surely as we do have some last minute spawns coming in for BZK. They're going to be up top uh, next to that Bravo flag, but you know, with uh, Quam shot right now uh, in the position that he's in, he should be able to take them down. Yeah, and, and you know, he's back in that same spot. And like I said earlier, I'd like to see him position a little bit better. I wouldn't shove it directly in there. I would, I would try to get myself behind those blue crates. And I, there he is. He's slowly starting to rotate. Uh, I, I don't. I, don't know, I think he's stuck. Is he stuck? Would you shove it in there? Would you really? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as, as soon as we get Brett, Brett back from the gutter, everybody, we will get back onto this cast. Oh, and look at this push on a Bravo, bro. You seen this? Yes, it is a very good push onto directions. that B flag. We're seeing Zapphire. Uh, getting up into it. He's he's kind of they're on top of the burn But again, it's so hard to clear this out because you do have the uh, Staircases you have you're able to get up underneath it and reinforce from those positions But they are winning out on the burn currently and this is a big deal. Oh team kill or a uh, team damage coming in They got to be careful with these rockets that they're spamming uh, But uh, Mooclear gonna try and come back in uh, not gonna be able to as he gets cross shots coming in and this right here Could be a turning point again we said that if you can control Bravo, you have an easier time getting down into Alpha, and they've been able to control C the entire map. Uh, really, there's only been one or two maybe contestants coming onto it, and that's it. But look at this coming around for a back rage. That's going to be Furia there, uh, who will be able to take him down. And now, uh, it's not looking so bad here for BZK. They're also going to be pushing in onto that Alpha flag with the LAV uh, missing out on every single one of those mines. He has to be careful, Ow. though. He has to be careful, though, because leaving those mines there and not blowing them up, if he does need to get out in a very, very fast uh, fashion, he has to be careful, but deciding to back out. Now, Antagonist is going to be pushing up here on top of uh, basically closer to the alpha burn as he's going to be finding a couple of these infantry here. Nice pick up there on uh, Mooclear and possibly a second one. Yes, there you go. Saudi going down as well. So Antagonist really stepping up. He's 16 and 10 as infantry. And right here where it counts, he is definitely doing the work for his team. Yeah, and I like the positioning of, of Prokill. He needs to get... Oh, and he falls off the building. He had such an advantageous position to drop uh, spawns and parachute on a Bravo. Unfortunate for NSD there. Yeah, absolutely. Micah goes down, though. Should have had that uh, hit fire spray, but not going to be so. And now uh, we are going to see Fury taken down as well from the cross shots. So 19 tickets here to 46. If NSD can get onto B flag now and get that burn, they can bring it back for the win. But the problem is, is that, I mean, they're just ticked in so well. Uh, Runic does get down. Uh, we are going to be seeing Zip Zip, the last player, back up. He's going to be actually below that Bravo flag. And we should be seeing some spots coming in. No, uh, oh, basically predicting where that push was going to be coming in. Antagonist also goes down as well. Micah and uh, Azan are the only ones left back up. That's going to be it, though. Did not have enough time. 44 tickets left. Or 44 tickets are going to win it in the first round for BZK. Yeah, and honestly, I, I, did, not, uh, I did not anticipate once they lost the lead. I thought they had kind of got knocked out of their game plan. So kudos to them for you know, not giving up on, on basically what they were trying to go for right from the get-go. Um, they ended up switching to Charlie and holding that and getting Bravo, but they never gave up on Bravo. So well done. The, the, the constant attack on Bravo and eventually getting it is actually what, uh, what won in the game. And they didn't have it the whole time. So, uh, you know, getting it back, that was, that was big. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are going to be seeing uh, switching on the sides. Uh, we are going to be seeing Chinese side here for NSD, BZK for the U.S. team. Um, honestly, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, BZK played very, very well, even though they had, I would say, the the worst setup. I mean, they were having the Alpha and Charlie setup. Did not have B until the very end there. If they win out on the B push initially, we could potentially be seeing a massive, uh, massive win here for BZK to take it to a map three. Yeah. Uh, they 
they did seem a bit more comfortable as a team. Now, don't forget, uh, Sudified carried the crap out of his team on that one. I mean, he was like 26 and 14. So he was wiping the uh, you know, full squads off of off of Burns. I mean, he played very well. So uh, it's 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 not always good when one guy um, is is basically you know doing the work for you. So they're going to need to come together more as a team in order to take BZ uh, BZK out on this map because. I will say, in comparison to Siege of Shanghai, BZK is much more comfortable on this map. You can tell by how they push flags. You can tell by their positioning and, and what they do. So, uh, I, I think uh, NSD. I think you're right. I think NSD is maybe on the back foot on this map, just based on what we've seen and how it's played out so far. Right now, I want to check out. Uh, I think it's uh, Melee. He has C4 already on his uh, Jeep right now, and he's going to go straight over here to that Charlie flag. And it's going to be Jeep versus Jeep. No, decides to jump back off of it. And uh, there you have it. We are going to be seeing a one-on-one -on -one shaping up here into the middle of the map. But look at the Venom there. Uh, going to be able to take oh. down a lot of players. Fail nade going to be happening over here onto Charlie Flag. And we are going to be seeing BZK uh, getting that initial touch there onto the Bravo Flag. Take a look in over here onto the LAB. is going back and forth. Uh, NSD going to take a lot of damage there. But uh, we're also going to be seeing an equal amount of damage coming in here for BZK as well. And this is just back and forth. But no rep there for NSD and that means that we could potentially be seeing a triple cap coming in here for BZK. Yeah and that that just kind of lends its hand to the comfort that uh, we've seen BZK have on this map. They're very familiar with what they need to do and what they need to accomplish and just the positioning on that LAV fight. The fact that uh, went straight on and he basically forced the the side shots. That's why he won that fight so uh, great position by Sticky and good win on that uh, well, LAV fight. That the fact that he had a rep with him as well, whereas the NSD LAV did not. So you got to give uh, props to them for staying alive and being able to uh, get that shots. Antagonist will be able to take down Mooclear. Nice uh, gameplay or game sense there. Does spot him out. That means that Bravo flag is going to be getting contested once again. Quam shot though uh, finishes that back off. As we are going to be seeing two more players from BZK trying to make their way back in. Zaffir, uh, Zaffir will be back up looking on uh, Overwatch basically. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is looking basically like round number one where we're seeing that double gimme situation coming in, and uh, Alpha is getting burned, but I, I just I don't think they're going to be able to take it. No, and I like what uh, Runic did. Runic Ten is the guy that's on Bravo, basically single burning, and then what he did is he actually went off the burn and allowed them to spawn in the stairwell, took a height advantage, basically um, for lack of a better word, raped them, and then off down on. Uh, on Bravo and flashed it, and what that did is they actually uh, had to respawn. So he uh, he's basically annoying them on Bravo and not letting them do a strong push on Alpha, which is why they're probably not losing the flag. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, they're going to be able to win out onto A flag once again. We did have an infantry push on the back side of it, but it wasn't successful. And I actually like this move right here. Look at what Burner is doing. He's going over here towards the Charlie flag with that LEV, something that we have not really seen at all. They've all been focusing onto Alpha flag. I like this positioning because once you cap this flag, he needs to be careful of the, uh, the, yeah, the, of the mines, but once you cap this flag, he can then go up on top of uh, highway and basically defend it from there. Exactly, exactly. Um, the only time uh, people are going to be getting up there uh, is if they control Charlie, they can they spawn up there as we're seeing right now from the, uh, from the BZK side. But uh, if he can get, if Burner can get up there. Oh, look at the back rage, rage from right Sticky, now. though. The back rage is real, and he's going to be able to do a massive amount of damage right there. Gets the first shots in. He's at 100 health right now. He popped his APS. There is a lot of infantry back here, but if he can get this kill, it could all be worth it. Oh, my God. It's going to be so close. 63 health. 50 health right now. Where is the infantry health coming in here? There's the rep. Finally going to be coming into place. But it's rep versus rep right get, now. And I don't know. Rep. I think he is. I think he's going to lose this fight right here. I he don't no see reps. him winning. Double reps, though. Oh. He ends up taking it down the small at the very end. Wow. Clutched it. Nice play there wow. from BZK. But my gosh, it was so close. Back and forth. And they're going to be able to win out that burn onto that Charlie flag. And that right there is a huge, Oh, here comes the C4. Win. Coming up behind from Melee. Coming up behind the, the LAV right here. If oh, we can get, if there was a small though plunger. that could take that that uh, uh, or uh, I'm sorry the uh, ah Jeep out, that would have been a clutch moment. But anyways, uh, Zip you Zip know, is now going to be shifting back over here to that Bravo flag. Alpha is getting contested, so maybe maybe that was a, a terrible move, getting that back rage on that LAV. 
I don't know. I like it because the uh, he can get back to Alpha before it gets burnt, in my opinion. And they also, also had someone sta uh, actually waiting to spawn in there. So they're not going to lose Alpha. He can rotate back in time. So in, in my opinion, yeah, uh, well played on that. Good call out for the back rage. Yeah, absolutely. Now uh, C-Flag is still going to be, uh, it looks like one player ended up uh, dropping down on top of Charlie. Yeah, he's going to be up in the same place that we saw before. Actually dropping some C4. Get me some C4 kills. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, but uh, we are going to be seeing uh, Alpha Flag getting contested. Two players are going to be back up. Uh, we do see the LAV now out for NSD. And uh, he is going to be able to push back uh, VZK's LAV for just a few seconds. Uh, if he gets him, he needs a rep. You know, something that we haven't seen for NSD is a dedicated rep on top of the LAV. Whereas uh, for uh, BZK, we have. He's had a dedicated rep. Every single engagement, pretty much, he's had a dedicated rep. Yeah, and don't forget that there, it's very advantageous to push a point uh, with a gunner. Now, it's fine to single seat once once you have that because you can hop into the gunner, you can sit in an area, but the proximity scan is huge for pushing a point, and uh, that's an advantage that uh, NSD is not using right now, and, and BZK is. So uh, props to them for using the vehicle to its full advantage and knowing when to have two people and when to single seat. So it's very well done, very well organized. Absolutely. .exe is going to be up right here. Had a little bit of a fail nade there, uh, but uh, he's going to be uh, slowly but surely uh, holding back this burn. Just a few moments, but look at this. NSD once again going to be sitting on top of C-Flag. The only problem with getting this cap right here is that, yeah, they got the cap, but they're going to be losing it right again, right away again. Uh, we do see some... Yeah. Oh my god, that was a failed parachute, if ever there was one. Uh, if we did see some C4, that would be some epic C4 action coming down. It's now going to be a two-on-two -two with uh, both of these players up on top of the, uh, the gas station for NSD. And uh, they're going to be canceling out that burn. So they have won it. Uh, now they are going to be losing as that third player going to be spawning in. But no, we have 3-3 uh, three, three all right now. And uh, <laughs> Small going to be coming in to finally clean one up. As I almost think that this is just a, a waste of time almost. But as I say that, we do have uh, the burn on Alpha that's going to be going into the favor here of NSD. Uh, B flag was cleaned up, so they are going to be winning out. So maybe not so bad. They could get a triple cap off the back end of this if they can get the frags. And it, ah, right as I say, that's going to come down to a one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, Melee doesn't even know where the last player is. He can't really find him. Ah, he's going back and forth, and Xena has a lot more health, and there you go. Yeah, they are going to be winning on to uh, Charlie, and still just not able to win out over here onto Alpha. But look at this, C4 going to be coming in. Can he get it off? He doesn't. Zips it there, going clutch, will be able to uh, save his uh, teammate. Sticky, though, getting a lot of RPGs coming in from the backside of Alpha. Uh, can we see that getting cleared out from the infantry standpoint? No, uh, the LAV now going to be coming in very, very aggressively. But he has to be careful. He's already disabled. Already dead. I, I like man. that trade, though. No, I like that trade because NSD is already set up to take Alpha. And they, if they do this properly and they stay up top and they control those uh, the guys that are up top trying to push Bravo, they can easily hold Bravo and Alpha right now. They have enough people already on the Alpha burn. They just need to rotate to Bravo and make sure they hold it. And they can get themselves back into this. Yeah, they are going to be rotating to that B point. Uh, we do see 167, 264. NSD on the back foot here. Uh, they were uh, they were right away, uh, you know, I guess you could say they were losing quite a bit in the first round. And they were managing to uh, come back a little bit. But uh, BZK definitely doing the work. And there's only a few tickets here left for them to actually uh, try and win this by. I mean, honestly, we're going to be seeing 164 to 53. They have, uh, what was it, it was 44. So they have less than 10 tickets to uh, try and make a comeback here for 164. I don't think that's going to be possible here. So we will be seeing a map number three coming up. Yeah, and, and that kind of goes back to what we were saying about uh, why NSD was actually in it uh, last round. Was I mean, Sudified, basically. He just said, hey, guys, hop in my knapsack, threw it on his back, and started running, and just tried to carry as best he could. But as you see on this one, they've negated Sudified, or Saudified. I'm sorry. If someone could let me know how to say his name, I would appreciate that. Uh, but they've nullified him. He's 9-13, and 13, and that's unfortunate because he was just an absolute wrecking ball on the first round. So um, I don't know if they adjusted their tactics or if they've put more infantry on the areas where he's been pushing, but um, with him not backpacking on this one, it's, it's very obvious that they're just having a hard time on this map. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are going to be seeing Rogue Transmission popping back up. The other thing that I want to mention, too, uh, Moo uh, did not have a little bird. And we saw him doing massive amounts of damage in that little bird on Siege of Shanghai. That does also come into play. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say that it came down to superior armor. Um, 
the armor, in my opinion, is what won them the match. Uh, they, and the reason why I say that was because they never really had a dominant uh, positioning on Bravo, because that's going to be more yeah. infantry-centric uh, flag. But they did almost always win out the fights on Alpha. And that right there came down to the armor fights. And they had intelligent armor that was able to back rage over there onto uh, C flag and rotate around. So, yeah, I think that the, the superior armor there was to BZK. And that is the reason why they did win that round. So, congratulations there. It is now going to be one all. And we will be going into a uh, map number uh, three. Which is one of our favorites. And I do want to say that the, the infantry support that... Uh, BZK had for their vehicles is why their vehicle play was so good. So I don't want to necess necessarily say that it was just Sticky, although he played so well, so well. But uh, it, it was the support that he got when when he got pushed by other uh, by the other LAV. There were rockets and everything going in, and as soon as the rockets went out, the rep, tor rep tools came in, and uh, just great support, great team play. Yeah, absolutely. So 